Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a video about Sabrent's 16 terabyte Extreme Q drive. Now this hasn't officially launched, we'll call this a pre-production model. Essentially what I have here, you've already seen, shared on the channel if you've seen the video. This is a Thunderbolt 3 dual NVMe enclosure. And if you saw my video recently unboxing Sabrent's Rocket Q 8 terabyte drive, then you already can guess what's inside. After all, I mentioned 16 terabytes, and that's exactly what we have. Now, uh, I don't have an official street date yet for when this drive will launch, nor do I have uh, an actual price point, but it's safe to assume it's going to be somewhere over $2,000. After all, uh, the eight terabyte Extreme Q that's right here already retails for almost two grand. So uh, on sale on any given day for about 1800. So with that in mind, again, somewhere between two and $3,000, it will be sealed. Of course, you can do this on your own, just as I've done here. And because it will be an Extreme Q drive, that means it will be Thunderbolt uh, 3 capable as well as backwards compatible with traditional type C, just like the Extreme Q8 terabyte. So really the best of both worlds. And then it's up to you how you want to configure it. Uh, if you want to make it essentially, you know, put them in RAID 0, whatever you want to do inside of Windows, you can do. Make it one drive. Uh, it's really a matter of what you plan on doing with it. But I see it as being a great solution for content creators, uh, people like myself, photographers, videographers, anyone who needs very fast storage in large quantity. This is going to check that box. Now, remember, it does require dedicated power, so you're not going to be able to power this drive off of a laptop. This is the HP uh, 14T, the Spectre 2-in-1, which is a light and portable Ultrabook, arguably one of the best here in 2021. And what I'm just going to quickly show you is a transfer with this. So basically right now, as you can see, we have two drives. Uh, both of them are seven and a quarter, roughly terabytes free. I'm not sure why this one is showing. It just must need to be refreshed. Um, I've already tested it out. And as I stated, you essentially, after you've enabled inside of device manager uh, performance mode, uh, right caching, all that good stuff, then you should be good to go. And in this case, I do have the drives separate. I'm going to go ahead and give you a tight shot of this so you can see it properly. Let's go ahead and get in there close. And then you'll see what transfer speeds are like. Now, it's what you would expect in terms of traditional transfer speeds for Thunderbolt 3 because, well, it is Thunderbolt 3. And the HP uh, 14T that I have here does support, uh, it is Thunderbolt 4, but that doesn't change throughput. That's more about uh, 8K support and backwards compatibility. So the folder I have right here, which hopefully is visible, I may even go a little bit tighter, is approximately a little a little under 350 gigs so let's go ahead and transfer that over uh, to one of the two drives now i will say we started off at 1.4 gigs we're dropping down to 1.2 and it's going to bounce there basically you're going to hold at least a gigabyte a second and push as high as 1.3, 1.4 gigs a second. So four minutes to transfer 350 gigs of data. Pretty impressive, not anything new. This isn't um, you know, very different, obviously, from what you would get out of a drive like this. But what is new is 16 terabytes in a single enclosure. And as I stated, you can do this yourself right now. It's not something that can't be done presently here in 2021. The novelty, though, is that of course, Sabrent is going to have an Extreme Q version. It will be sealed, um, so you're not going to want to try to break that open. It really is going to be designed specifically for those of you who want to have uh, an external enclosure, again, that has 16 terabytes of storage. And, you know, while the average consumer may not be after that, again, anyone who's in video production, enterprise solutions, uh, again, photographers dealing with uh, high megapixel raw images, this has a place because inevitably, you know, you run out of space, it's inherent, and having uh, this sort of speed with this sort of capacity just isn't something we've ever had. And when you think about the size of this, that it's a little bit larger than a credit card, 
uh, it's crazy. I mean, I have 16 terabyte mechanical drives. They're external, they're large, and yes, you can get internal uh, drives as well. And capacities will continue to go up on the traditional side, uh, meaning mechanical. But of course, the read and write speed does not come anywhere near this. So if that matters to you, uh, if the likelihood of it dying matters to you, because even though all of these NVMe drives have, of course, lifespans like everything else on Earth, including yourself and me, uh, the read-write lifespan of these drives generally is going to obviously exceed uh, your actual usage. So a lot of people I've had friends con you know, concerned with, well, Ed, how long is it going to actually last me? You know, mechanical drives, they don't put a number on it. Well, they could put a number on it. They don't because that's just not uh, something that they publish. But every manufacturer knows how long their drives are going to physically last. They've tested them. They know how much, like any car, you know, at what point, how many miles are you going to get through before the car, you know, the, the crap or, uh, you know, it craps out. I was going to say something else about hitting a fan. Uh, but the picture should be fairly clear here. So. If you want to run these, again, in a RAID configuration, you can do so. The beauty is going to be that unlike this pre-production uh, model, it will have backwards compatibility. And who knows, there may be higher throughput. I'll see if Sabrent ends up sending that out to me once it actually starts shipping. Right now, on their own webpage, it is listed, but it is not listed with a price or a ship date. Uh, but this was something where I reached out to my rep at Sabrent. This is not a paid promotion, by the way, um, in any way, shape, or form. And I just said, do you have one to send over? And so basically, they sent one over, just not assembled. Uh, and as I mentioned, not in the queue form. So you can do this right now. And I will include links in the description for all of uh, this hardware. Uh, basically, you know, it's just picking up two of the Rocket Q eight terabyte drives and dropping them in this enclosure. Now, this of course is limited to Thunderbolt three connectivity. So if like me, you have machines that have Thunderbolt support and then do not, it may not be right for you. If you are working specifically with uh, laptops and desktops that all have Thunderbolt support, then why not of course stick with uh, the Thunderbolt three version in my opinion. So it's really a matter of personal preference, uh, but the beautiful thing is we have 16 terabyte NVMe drives, external drives coming. And even if they require external power, so does every other 16 terabyte drive on this planet or anything that's, that's gonna come close to it. So yes, we've all been spoiled by the eight terabyte Extreme Q that I have right here. It will spoil, spoil you, no question about it, uh, between its read-write performance form factor and not needing dedicated power it is a dream drive. The only way it could get better is with the 16 terabyte Extreme Q that is right around the corner. And so here we are, the final 20 gigs, 20 seconds, sounds about right, and just really impressive stuff. stuff. And I'm glad that Sabrent continues to push the envelope uh, on NVMe tech because really no one else out there is doing it. And uh, if Sabrent isn't a household name yet, give it some time because it will be. And that's the reason I cover their products. They're doing big things uh, in a space that is crucial, but most consumers just aren't aware yet. And that's mostly because of pricing. And trust me, over time, that is going to change as well. You can already see a dramatic shift in pricing uh, from year to year in terms of at least what Sabrent's been doing to make uh, drives that traditionally weren't affordable the best example being the one terabyte capacity. As long as you were relying on Samsung and SanDisk uh, and Western Digital, uh, and I'll throw Hynix in there as well. I mean, now things are more competitive, but once upon a time, and of course, SanDisk is no longer, you know, they're, they were bought out, but once upon a time, it was incredibly expensive to get a one terabyte drive. Uh, point in case or case in point would rather be if we time travel back to 2017, 2018, it was a fortune. Uh, you were looking at three to four hundred dollars. Now three to four hundred dollars gets you a two terabyte drive. And sometimes on sale, it could be even less. So exciting stuff. That's why I'm sharing it with you. This is a first look at a 16 terabyte external uh, NVMe dual enclosure that is full to the brim with some of 
the fastest eight terabyte drives, uh, I think they are the fastest, that exist on planet Earth. And uh, this is the rugged enclosure, so it does come with this little, you know, rubber uh, overlay, uh, which will prevent it when it does get hot from getting hot on your skin, uh, because I'm not going to say you could fry an egg on it, but it's something to be aware of. And remember, this enclosure originally retailed, it's not that bad, and we just wrote 350 gigs. I'm not having a problem uh, holding it, but something to be aware of here is that there are two LED lights, and that's because there are two discs. You have to remember that. Uh, and basically, it's just a matter of, like I said, if you want to wait for the Q version because you need backwards compatibility, then go for it. If you don't want to wait, this can all be done right now with two eight terabyte drives and this enclosure, which is $100 less than when I covered it several months back. It launched at 250, now it's 150. I think it's a bargain if you need something like this, and now it's available. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.